Hi, my name's Lorraine Elliott, blogger, author and critic of all things food. And I'm on a mission. Following a nationwide challenge to find Australia's most inventive high tea menus, Dilma Tea have challenged me to host a high tea of my own. The only problem is I've never hosted one before. You're cordially invited to join me as I discover the secrets to the perfect high tea. A successful high tea is all about good friends, good food and good tea. And while I've pretty much got the first one covered, for the others I may need a bit of advice to get me over the line. So how does one go about preparing a high tea menu? Of course, the choice of brand was easy, but the question of exactly what teas to serve and why required the knowledge of an expert. Peter Kuravita is the executive chef of Piermont's iconic Flying Fish restaurant. His ties with Dilma Tea are long-standing, and as a judge of Dilma's High Tea Challenge, he's an authority on both the brand and their many tea products. I've known the Fernando family for 25 odd years, and, and they have worked very hard to produce a tea that is not only, you know, flavoursome and, and, and beautiful to drink, but is also ethical. So what makes a good tea? When you talk about tea and the way it's grown, it's very similar to the way you grow wine. And depending mm -hmm. on the elevation, it's the strength of your tea. The water is mm -hmm. vital. But spring water is really good because what it does, it brings out the brightness in the tea. The most important thing about tea is the time you take to brew it. Now, most of these tins here have brewing time on them. You can go a little bit further, but never less. The reason for that is that, you know, unless you brew them for the correct amount of time, you're not really, you're, all you're having is, is a cup of hot water with a flat bit of flavor. But to release the antioxidants and all these things that are so good for you in tea, you have to brew it for the correct time. So how, what's a tea tasting process? Tea do you tasting sniff it? process you... is quite noisy, actually. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Give yeah. me in. This, <laughs> is, this is what you do. One of the characteristics of tea is very much like tannin. Okay. And it's yep. actually called a polyphenol, and it's the same sort of thing. It's the flavour. And what you do is you put it in your mouth, put it here. Thank you. And what will happen is it will go all the way around your... After a good chat with Peter about tea, I left Flying Fish feeling a lot more confident. But of course, no high tea is ever complete without cake. Petiste is an elegant cafe located on Dank Street in Sydney's Inner East. It is known for its artistic delights, inventive high tea menu and charismatic executive chef Vincent Gadan. I caught up with him to see if I could pick up a few tips. Well, I like high tea, but with a twist. So I wanted to have a high tea with a French version. Once a month, we choose a theme. Yep. So it could be floral, okay, flowers. Yes. yes. We did a native Australian. Yeah. We had a crocodile sandwiches. Of course, chocolate. You have to have chocolate in there? It's by law. That's a good, oh, by law, oh, okay. Yeah. Vincent's law. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, this, it's a playground. <laughs> so they're very colorful and they're all different flavors. That's it. This, we do have a lovely uh, violet. Macarons, pistachio, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong. Well, do you like pistachio? Yes. Okay, go Thank for you. it. You have to tell me straight away. So remember, macarons, mm. crunchy outside and soft in the middle. So I'm going to host my own high tea soon. So what tips do you have for me? Go with the flow. Chefs work with the color. For example, if you come to, uh, to spring, they try to, uh, to look around in nature and bring the color from nature to their cakes. You're a creative person, Lauren. Put your creativity, your creativity out there. Basically, put your passion mm -hmm. and your heart into your food. As the sun set on my afternoon with Vincent, it became clear to me that the key to any successful high tea menu is simplicity. And as much as these things are important, they should never get in the way of good conversation. So, Lauren, what do we do? <laughs> Thank you.